Nearly 3,000 crashes have been carried out here at Volvo's high-tech crash test laboratory in Gothenburg that this year celebrates its 10-year anniversary. It's in here that Volvo car safety experts and researchers acquire the knowledge that is essential to develop traffic safety and make tomorrow's cars even safer. It's estimated that 1.2 million people are killed in road traffic accidents each year. And looking at it from that perspective, you can say that, well, road traffic safety is not really a problem. It's much, much more than that. It's, it's an epidemic. So, of course, we need to address that. And knowledge is really the key here. And that's really what this center is all about, building knowledge to try to prevent this in the future. And it's a matter of fact that Volvo Car's safety center here in Gothenburg is unique in many ways. This place is where the car-to-car -car impact takes place. We have one moving car traveling in that track and another car which can travel from this tunnel. And this tunnel can be moved in direction all the way back here. Because in the real world, any crash can occur. So you can, you can have an impact in any angle. And this facility makes this possible to reconstruct all these different impact angles and different impact speeds, and even truck-to-car impacts. We're actually standing on a glass floor. Beneath us, we have cameras. We also have cameras above us. And all the sides of the cars when impacted, as well as inside the cars. Everything needs to be documented. Otherwise, you can't save it. This is the, the tunnel that is used to conduct both car-to-car -car crashes as well as to crash cars on the outside of the building. So the tunnel here uh, is actually movable on air cushions. It weighs 650 tons and it's movable so we can get any angle on it into the center here from zero to, to 90 degrees. Five, four, three, two, one. The track here is uh, reversible, so we can shoot cars both into the building and we can shoot cars out of the building. So behind me here you see the gate and on the outside there we can actually build different uh, traffic scenarios from real life. All crashes here in the lab are filmed with special high-speed cameras. We need all these high-speed cameras in order to capture the whole crash event from all the different angles. Because a crash is over with, in less than a tenth of a second, that's shorter time than you can blink. So we need to have it all on film in order to do a proper analysis afterwards. The major advantage of this installation is that it is possible to create completely realistic crashes from, in principle, any angle and at any speed, which provides invaluable knowledge and competence. First of all, it gives us a unique flexibility in the sense that we can do not only car-to-car -car crashes, but also car-to-truck crashes. Uh, this track alone has a capacity of pushing a car, a three-ton car, in 90 kilometers an hour. And we can do car-to-car uh, -car crashes in different angles, in different speeds, with different offsets, as well as having the capacity of actually building real-world traffic environments on the outside where we can crash cars into them. And there are plenty of good examples to show that this research has resulted in safer cars. Well, one example is the fact that when, when uh, impacting with oblique angles, you, you, you have special challenges in respect to uh, airbag deployments, airbag coverage areas, and, and things like that. You can't see if you don't do those type of crashes. The crash test dummies that are used are also extremely important in this research. In the future, I think we will see even more flexible dummies. That is, that it can, it can be uh, used in uh, multiple events, when the car crashes twice, maybe, uh, in more slow events, runoff roads events. Outside of Sweden, Volvo Car's crash test laboratory has an extremely good reputation and is still classed as one of the best in the world.
Traffic safety researcher Professor Adrian Hobbs at Euro NCAP is of the opinion that Volvo produce invaluable knowledge here. If you want to understand about safety, the first thing you have to do is you have to investigate road accidents. Volvo have their own team that investigate accidents. They've got that information. Then with their test facility, they can reproduce the big problems. They can understand about them. They can develop solutions, and then they can test them. You need to have the facilities in order to test the cars and test the components. Volvo got an excellent facility for doing that. This is our main test track. So we can take the car and go into the barrier, or we can take the car and go into the other car coming from the other test track, or we can reverse this test track and take the car outdoors and do rollover testing. This crash test barrier uh, weighs 850 tons and it's movable on air cushions and we use it to crash cars into it. And it's a very flexible system. Uh, on each end of the barrier here we can actually attach different types of impact barriers like a full rigid barrier like we have here. We can have a deformable front end of another car. We can have poles and we can turn it around and we can move it and we can also move the barrier out of the way when we do the car to car crashes or car to truck crashes. The fact that you can reconstruct any crash situation occurring in the real world, you can learn more and get new questions to address. And, and in that way, the, uh, the research as well as the uh, product development has evolved over the years. For Volvo cars, traffic safety has always been one of its most important core values and it has no plans to change this strategy in any way. This is an operation that goes through continual development and even if today's cars are considerably safer than they were only a few years ago there is always something that can be improved that will make both the car and traffic safer. Another future scenario that we will use this test facility to, which we already do, is to, to uh, test the mitigation prior to a crash uh, braking, pre-braking the, the, the car maybe or making multiple scenarios where we have an active safety part as well as the passive safety. Combinations of, of those uh, safety aspects is the future. Well, if we look at the past 10 years, we've been taking humble steps every day in building our knowledge and uh, increasing the performance of our safety systems in our, our cars. And that will continue over the coming 10 years and I will think that we will see some breakthrough technologies being put to the market both when it comes to how we can protect when a crash occurs but more importantly how we can prevent crashes from occurring in the first place. So hopefully in a few decades even further uh, this center will be obsolete.